So, while we're guarding you, we're gonna hold up in an old castle on the outskirts of town. I don't know much about it, except back in the day, a lot of people died there. Well, I never thought I'd see the day I'd have to babysit a baby back bitch like you. But here I am. God, this is a travesty. This is a disaster. This is a Titanic. Fuck this. You chicken shit sandwich! Whoa! Back in my day, we didn't have horses. We had billy goats, and you couldn't ride them! Man, look at this busted ass castle. Fuck are we supposed to do with this? Call me Dumbledore, because we're about to clean bitches. Oh yeah, you're a dirty windowsill, aren't you? I'm gonna clean you something, right? Uh, sir, but... I finished the upstairs as requested, sir. What? Uh. What? 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 What are you doing? I was just enjoying my fucking awesome handiwork, but then an annoying little brat had to show up and ruin it all. And track dirt on the freshly mopped floor. Sorry. Hey, why are you wearing a diaper on your head? Rule number one, don't ever question me. Rule number two, shut up. Rule number three, where's your sanitary headscarf? Sir? Do you have any idea what the deadliest creatures known to man are? Titans! No, germs, dumbass. They're everywhere. In the dust. In your hair. They might even be living inside your own body. Which is why the squad makes sure to clean every environment it faces. And drink plenty of high-proof liquor. Wow. What? It's a sanitizer. You really take this seriously, don't you? I take everything seriously. I'm Captain Goddamn Levi. I murder titans and scrub the fuck out of floors. And if you want to be like us, you will too. Alright, baby dick. I'm gonna check your work. Finish this room, but don't touch the cabinet. That's where I keep my weed. Surprise, hello! Ah. Poor thing. You must be pretty overwhelmed. We're a pretty crazy group of people. Huh. Yeah. It's almost like you're required to be insane to join the Survey Corps. Well, when you consider that we strap ourselves to massive gas canisters that rocket our body through the air while dual-wielding swords so that we can slice the neck of giant naked monsters, then yeah, it kind of is. I actually never thought about it like that. But never mind that. We'll keep you safe while the Commander plots our next mission. Commander Irwin. He stood up for me in court. He seems like a great leader. Oh, he is. But you should know, deep inside, Irwin is really, really weird. One day more! <laughs> another day, another destiny! <laughs> this never-ending road to Calvary! <laughs> These men who know my crime will surely come a second time. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Speaking of weird, what's up with the captain? What do you mean? Well, I walked in on him just now and caught him in the middle of... Um, Chore play? Uh, I wasn't aware that was a thing. It was the Windex, wasn't it? Yeah. Lavender Center Mountain Miss. Mountain. Always is. Wait! No, don't wait, look, a squirrel! Are you... And him? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Uh, I'm sorry. What was the question? Nothing, sir. Whatever. You forgot to dust the chandelier's dick moth. Do everything over. Wow. This was a great tea party. I just sat here and insulted all of you, and nobody talked back. Sir, may I ask? Spit it, Jagerbaum. Why is this tea so awful? That's because it's mostly watered-down vodka. Vodka? I know, right? We only have enough to drink for, like, half the day this week. Times are tough in the Empire.
shouldn't you all be sober? What's he talking about? He said sober. We don't do sober. Aren't you guys here to make sure I don't turn into a titan? Yes. And if I do turn into a titan without permission, you're all gonna kill me, right? Duh. So, maybe I'd prefer if the people who hold my life in their hands were in the right state of mind? Jägerbaum, I am always in the right state of mind. You in the scouting legion now, kid. You got a drink. What? What? Why? We see death all day. Only way to handle it is to bottle that shit way down. And never talk about it to anyone at any time. You got a drink instead. All day. Every day. That's how you live the survey corps life, kid. So, no one ever talks about their feelings? Motherfucker, the fuck of feelings? You gotta be stone cold. Look at me. I'm an ice fortress, motherfucker. I'm a goddamn penguin. Aaron, what Gunther's trying to say is you gotta find peace with the world when you see what we see. I use different techniques. Stretching, meditation, incense, all to find my inner zen. If you like, I can give you some prayer wheels I fashioned out of clay bricks and pigeon droppings. I'm okay. You sure? They're organic. Yeah. Cut the shit chat. We've got company. Hello, everyone. I have arrived. Wait, Levi, you guys have snacks? No, no snacks for shitty glasses. Whatever, I'm here for him. Me? Hello, Titan Aaron. You can just call me Aaron. Aren't you looking adorable today? This is so great! <laughs> I just cannot wait to probe you. You know, I'm a bit concerned about what you might have in store for me. Levi, does Titan Aaron have anything to fear? Yes. Oh, don't be a silly. Together, Titan Aaron, we're going to achieve miracles. If I can study your abilities, perhaps we can replicate it in others. And if so, we could finally end the Titan threat once and for all. What do you say? Will you help me? <sighs> well, when you put it like that... Peace? Hmm? Please? Well, yeah. In that case, I'll help you in any way I can. Killing Titans is all I've ever wanted to do. Wunderbar! <laughs> the new era has arrived! I cannot wait to fit you in a test tube. All right, we're out. Fuck this. I'm not listening to another one of her lectures. Now that it's just you and me, we can talk frankly. And we have much to discuss. So strap yourself in, Titan Aaron, because we're about to talk science. As Chief Science Officer for the Survey Corps, I've been busy running experiments on the two Titans we have captured. Oh yeah, What's I'm up, loving man? this party. Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah, how you feel about getting a broom up your ass? That's all you, dog. That, I don't nah, roll like nah, that, man. Son. Nah, son. Nah, son. Nah. You're gonna be in it, too. Nah, nah, you that's all you. You don't have a choice. Like, literally, nah. they gonna let me loose. Nah. Because they know I'm that nigga. Nah. They gonna let you have that broom. I, I want that broom. I want all nine feet. You a nasty motherfucker. Hey. Hey, don't judge it till you try it. Konnichiwa! How are you this afternoon? Well, better now that you've arrived, goddamn! You was a fine ass, huh? you are way too close to the Titan. Step back got now! Triple strap I'll glasses. be fine! I'm wearing safety goggles! Some Somebody chair. needs a Tic Tac! Maybe I can feed you one! Anji, do not feed them Tic Tacs! You remember what happened last time! My, aren't you a big one? I don't think we put enough tax in you! <laughs> that was close. For God's sake, Hanji, please nee, stay nee, away. Nee, 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 nee. Nee. <laughs> After our friendly introduction, I adopted the Titans as my own. I've decided to give both of you names. You're going to be Sunny, like and that. you're going to be Bean, and we're going to be the best of pals. Now, let's do the experiments. Hey, what you like to get fucked up on? Anything. Anything? I'm down for anything. All man. right, me too, me too. Let's That's why I came. You told me it was going to be drugs. Hey, Where the drugs at? Well, hey, man, we going to find out. 
Don't judge. Only thing we gonna find is brooms up our ass. Nah, 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 nah. And that nah, ain't I my promise. shit. That's you. Nah. Yeah. You know I don't play that shit. Hey, hey, but you should play that shit. Play it like a tambourine. As a part of our human conditioning experiments, I checked to see if reading them bedtime stories would calm them down. Sunny seemed to really like The Hungry Caterpillar. Bean, however, didn't like it very much. Bitch, I'm gonna kill you. Hanji, there's something I've always wondered. How do the Titans talk? Huh? You've heard them, right? No, I've never heard a Titan speak. Although there was that one time. Ever since I can remember, I've heard them talk. Fascinating. What do they say? Uh, well... What's good, niggas? I hope you pregnant, ho. You know I need them prenatals. Crack cocaine! I'm a bite your dick off! Let it go, let it go! Fuck Frozen! <laughs> Here is my master plan. <laughs> oh, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Who wants the Scooby Snack? Well. It's been quite the conversation, but enough about my experiments. The reason why I came here is because of you, Aaron Titan. You are the ultimate test subject, a Titan we can reuse many times over. I believe not only can you help humanity by fighting for us, but also by contributing to the knowledge about our foe. So, what do you say? Will you join me in science? Yes, Hanji, I will. I'll help you in any way I can. Fantastic! This is wonderful news! All right, so I'm going to first outline some of the basic physics principles that will help you understand my next couple of experiments, and then I'm going to start in on... And that's how the Coriolis effect works. Oh my god! I'm so hungry! For science? Hanji, somebody has stolen the Philosopher's Stone! Shit! I mean, the Titans are dead! So, like, you think we should get her some help? My hubris, my job! Nah, fuck that. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ah, typical woman, delicate and frail. Ow! Oh, my rib cage! <laughs> boogly, 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 pop! Space rainbow! I'm sorry. It was a weird thing to say. This is the place I chose. These are the heroes I admired. They're all complete fucking lunatics. My favorite, my favorite uh, children's book is like, is like the Phantom Toolbooth. Although I also fucks with that hungry caterpillar. I fucks with that green eggs and ham, man. Mm. Describes my life. Cause I get that green and mm -hmm. I go ham when I'm eating these children. Oh yeah. 